At the age of 18, Duncan was picked to play for England at full international level against Scotland. A year later, he faced the old enemy once more, figuring in a one-all draw that saw the home championship title shared. The English forwards are soon hitting back, but goalie Tom Younger is there every time. Less than a minute to go and Scotland think it's all over by the shouting. Then, without warning, Johnny Haynes slips through. Younger jumps, but it's in. Scotland are thunderstruck. We had a famous match in Berlin uh, when we played against the German team that won the World Cup. And we were all a little tremulous about this match. 100,000 people in Berlin Stadium and a lot of our soldiers were there at that time. And the major in charge of this outfit came along to us and said, for heaven's sake, do win if you can, but don't disgrace us by being thrashed by this German team. In Berlin's Olympic Stadium, England, in the dark shirts, meet Germany, the World Cup holders. Early German attacks are fended off by the brilliant work of Reg Matthews, the Coventry City goalkeeper. When he does miss, his backs don't let him down. For the first 25 minutes, we were suffering. And then Duncan got the ball at the centre circle and dribbled along through the team. And uh, the shout came all the way, Duncan. He shot up from outside the penalty area and crashed past the goalkeeper. We were one up, and that we never looked back after that. Johnny Haynes has the ball. He passes upfield, and Granger nips in. Retter tackles him, but he's through, and the goal is beaten. England are two up. Now England are well into their stride. Duncan Edwards pushes through towards the German goal. A general tussle in the goal mouth, and Johnny Haynes slips it neatly home. So now England are three up, and the German fans are far from happy. The home team gather their forces to save something from the wreckage, but Reg Matthews punches away, and Billy Wright clears. But Germany keeps up the pressure, and with only five minutes to go, Fritz Walter saves his team from a whitewashing. But it's too late to prevent a victory, which does much to restore England's waning soccer prestige in Europe.